Have you guys ever wanted to watch anime with me? Well, now you guys can. We watch all type of anime and we do it on a nightly basis. All you guys have to do is follow me on Twitch and click the link in the description to join the Discord. With that out of the way, let's get into the intro. The title of Shogun is basically the leader and commander of Japan. Now, we know that One Piece has a lot of IRL places embedded within the story. For example, Water 7 being Venice, Amazon Lily being China, Alabasta being Egypt, etc. Wano is no different with it being Japan, with all the samurai, seppuku references, and the kimonos. With the passing of Oda, we have a new Shogun being Orochi, but thanks to Kaido, well, he'll no longer be the Shogun of Wano anymore. So who's the perfect character to be the next Shogun? Well, we'll be discussing that. If you guys enjoy regular One Piece content, make sure you guys like the video, subscribe to this channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss out on a new video. With that out of the way, my name is Potential Unleashed, and here are the best candidates to be the next Shogun of Wano. Now, there's not gonna be any particular order of the people I'm listing. I'm just listing them uh, whoever comes to mind first. So we're gonna start out with Momonosuke. He's the only son of Odin and is likely to be the successor to become Shogun. It's been stated several times by the Scabbers that Momo will be the Shogun one day. We've seen him grow and develop training to get stronger so that one day he'll be the strongest and probably stronger than his father. He wants to become strong enough to take down Orochi and Kaido and restore Wano to being a thriving country that's open to the world just like his father wished. We've seen King and Queen state many times that in order to end the raid on Onigashima, they need to kill Momo because it will make the other samurai lose their will to fight. Now, I know what you guys are going to ask, well, what's the point in making the video if Momo's going to be the Shogun one day? Well, Momo, he's still only 8 years old, and I'm pretty sure no matter how old he is, the country wouldn't allow someone of his age to be the next Shogun, even if he is the rightful heir to become the Shogun. And, you know, I believe that he'll join the Straw Hats crew. I think, you know, he'll be Luffy's cabin boy and travel all the way to Lafto because Yamato herself stated that Momonosuke is important to the Dawn, just like Odin was, and we'll probably get some backstory and seeing actually what's in the journal probably once one is over i think when the time skip comes and all the straw has so much older and having accomplished their dreams that he'll return to one of and then become the shogun so the next candidate that i have could possibly be hiori she's also a child of odin and has just as much of a chance to be the shogun as her brother now, unlike her brother, she didn't travel into the future and thus is 26 years old. She also wants to fulfill her father's dream and especially wants to take down the head of Orochi because of all that she's been through. I could see her taking the role of Shogun until Momo no Suke is the age or until he comes back from sailing the sea with the Straw Hats. Only problem is Shoguns aren't ever usually women. Now, this is a show so maybe Oda will allow her to become the Shogun now before the feminists go up in my comments saying I'm being sexist because she can do it I'd love to see Hiori become the Shogun I love her as a character and it'd be really interesting if she did but I see her more assisting with the reconstruction of Wano after the fight with Kaido because as we know Onigashima is flying over the capital where likely Kaido's head will be taken down there as well become a legend like Ryuma etc but then again you know, seeing different princesses like Rebecca, Shirahoshi, and Vivi step up uh, more once their country were safe. So who knows what'll happen with Hiori. Next candidate could be one of the scabbers. Now, personally, I think that most, if not all of them, are going to die with some having a higher chance than others. But let's say they don't bite the bullet during the raid. Why should one of them become the next Shogun? Well, because they all have admired Odin equally and look up to him. They follow his teachings and don't tolerate any Odin slander. He saved them and was willing to do anything for these people, and they'd want to do anything in order to carry on his legacy. I think he best fits for the Shogun of the Scabbers would probably be Camon because he's basically their leader. 
Sure, he's not the strongest, but he's looked after Momo kind of as a stepfather, and he's been the mastermind behind the Onigashima raid. He has great instincts and great qualities of being a leader. I'm gonna put Yamato on this list as well, but I'm gonna be brief. I only put her here because she wants to be quote Odin. Basically, she admires him and follows in his footsteps, so her being the Shogun wouldn't be too out of the picture. But at the same time, she is the quote son of Kaido, even though she's the daughter, and she wants to travel to the sea with Luffy. So there's that too, kind of I guess pushing her chances, kind of lowest on the list. Now the next candidate I have is Orochi himself. Now how can he be a candidate if one he's supposed to be dead, and two, well everybody hates him in the capital. Well, the dead part is simple because he's most likely not dead. He ate the heavy heavy no me where he's a mythical zone user that has eight heads and in Japanese mythology it's called the eight branch serpent. Now Kaido killed him but with Oda never really killing off characters unless it's in a flashback. Kaido probably only cut off one of his heads or something and he'll find a way to revive him. You know, maybe with the death of Kaido and seeing how strong the alliance is, maybe it'll in light of fire in him and he'll change his ways and actually become a good ruler for once. The likelihood of that happening is slim to none, but hey, I just laid out a possibility. Now the last candidate that I have on this list could possibly be Hirogoro. Now he's very respected among the people of Wano and I'd say he's around the level of Yasui who is basically Odin's right hand man. In chapter 935, Oda drew a young Higoro looking like he was the famous Wisdom King, and Kiku stated in chapter 921 that Kaido is said to be the Wisdom King who protects Wano. If he survives the war, he could then become the Shogun of Wano, allowing Momonosuke to be used towards the dawn. So to conclude, I do believe that Momonosuke will become the Shogun, but it'll only be after the One Piece is found, and only after he's been used towards the dawn where I think either Hiyori Higoro, Hirogoro, or you know anybody else on this list, they'll take the place of Shogun as of now until Momonosuke is ready. But yeah, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Let me know who you guys think will be Shogun once Wano ends. Like I said, I do believe that in the end, Momonosuke will reign over Shog uh, Wano, become the Shogun for a long time, pass it on to his kids. But as, as soon as Wano ends, who will be the next Shogun? Let me know your guys' thoughts. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell so you guys never miss out on a video. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat on the screen in the description below. Thank you guys so much for watching, and don't forget to unleash your potential.